Well, Governor Kathy Hochul recently signed legislation into law to increase compensation for workers' comp benefits. And today, our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein spoke to lawmakers to get their take on how this could impact workers across the Empire State. Elise? Nick, some lawmakers have opposing feelings on this new law. Some feel it's important for workers, while others worry about business operations. In June, towards the end of the most recent legislative session, New York State lawmakers passed a bill intending to increase the weekly minimum for New Yorkers who receive workers' compensation benefits. Last week, Governor Kathy Hochul signed this bill into law. Some New York State lawmakers say this compensation for temporary or partially disabled workers has not been increased in several years. We're trying to ensure that working uh, is protected, a worker is protected. If you get hurt in some type of temporary disability, you'll be able to survive in New York State financially. The current weekly benefits for workers' compensation is around $150 a week. The new law will essentially index this weekly benefit to inflation. Some Republican lawmakers express concern about this new law potentially driving business out of the state. The cost of doing business here is so much higher, and workers' compensation insurance is one of those reasons. Uh, literally, it's about 20 times more expensive in New York State uh, for workers' compensation insurance than it is for an equivalent business uh, in, in the state of Pennsylvania. Senator Sanders, the bill sponsor, says increasing compensation benefits is crucial for workers to be able to pay their bills. This is not enough. You would go so far behind in your bills that you would rush back to work regardless of how healthy you feel. You would be forced back. The legislation is written to take effect immediately since Governor Hochul signed this legislation last week. It is now law in the state. For WENY News, I'm Elise Klein. Nick, back to you.